very much on this question of whether the introduction uh, I, I teach at UCL just over there now but yes they are going to face a severe problem and we have already seen that in the form of the rising in number of cases okay the second point I would like to note over here don't know why <laughs> When you consider that just two months ago he was about to fall out of the world's top 100, his resurgence has come at a good time with the first major. Nine Florida Poland's Hobart Hubcatch has won his second title of the year at the Miami Open. He was up against his occasional doubles partner Yannick Sinner in the final. The 19 year old was 6 5 up and serving for the first set, Bert Hobart broke him and went on to take it on a tie break. He then won the second set, 6-4, to win it. He did stay in his area and, and he was something the government did. Uh, said he had no intention of doing what would appear more in the Prime Minister later. It does, though, seem as though the government does have the intention of looking into this. It is likely to announce a series of trials in large venues. Very, very hard to pull. <laughs> Children have it worse and find it harder to get support, but even with. 
some child support, like the Sarah received in 2013. The number of widows in Syria is increasing as fighting continues in parts of the country. Even after 10 years of war, they're struggling to patch up their lives. Leah Harding, Al Jazeera. Life seems to pause from Johnson and Johnson last night, but one of the years by 86%. The New York Times reports the flies have been lifted until federal regulators approve. Now thousands of people living near a volcano on the Caribbean island of St. Vincent have fled on boats after an eruption. Experts are warning of more explosions. Mara Chowdhury reports. It had been rumbling for months before it finally blew, the air a choking cloud of grey ash. Plumes of smoke filled the sky as La Sequoia erupted for the second time. There was panic and chaos as residents tried to escape. I hear this, this loud uh, explosion. I hear it, just with this smoke, smoke started up in the air. So, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know when the breakdown happened, but we did not materialize. As a result, I did not look for us. We were late on the road looking for bus transportation. The volcano has laid dormant for more than 40 years. Scientists say it is now likely to keep erupting for days and even weeks. The government says out of the 16,000 people who live near the volcano, roughly 2,000 have been moved to shelters. Thousands of others have been evacuated by ship and by road, but it could be months before they're allowed to return to their homes. Mary Chaudhry, Al Jazeera. And let's have a recap of those headlines here from on the border. They're very, really clear. However, since the military coup on February the 1st, there has been talk of alliances uh, of Queen Elizabeth's husband died on Friday at the age of 99. So he and Andrew Kadir will... I am Steve Clemens, and I have a question. What does the United States... America's retreat from the world, the forever war. Everything is on the table with our special guest today. This has us in order of...
mungkin di antara dari cerita teman-teman ya di antara tentara yang mengambil ada yang baik ada yang menyekolahkan memberi makan dan menjadi ayah angkat tapi di antara mereka juga ada yang menelantarkan ada yang melakukan kekerasan ada yang tidak lagi peduli nah ini semua adalah bagian dari cerita kebenaran yang mau kita pelajari dan apa yang kita tahu Alice is met by his cousin and younger brother. This is the man from the Rolls Royce Alley. Antonio was just a baby when Alice was taken. Health workers take us to the intensive care unit or ICD. All 12 beds have been occupied for a while. And when we get there, patients also require COVID-19 ICU. Yeah. Then they will talk to the surrounding neighboring uh, counties to see whether they have uh, beds available. The country's nearly 600 ICU beds fill up first, and demand for oxygen has almost doubled to about 800. Yeah, about a thousand cylinders are filled up with the gas every day. Les soldats français, the people of the region, enjoy a peace pact with France. We have to make sure that the pact is on a right of liberty and independence. France will not let anybody question or threaten today or tomorrow Chinese stability and territorial integrity. France will be here to ensure that the promise which was made will be realized for all patriots, stability, inclusiveness, dialogue, and democratic transition. This is what we want. We are by your side. Pulls a fresh state of emergency in Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto. <laughs>
President Xi Jinping has called to the
criminal justice in Brazil is calling for an investigation into a police raid that killed 20. We can have everyone on the program. I think he's making a choice. A choice not to attract. <laughs> And she filmed a one-minute tongue-in-cheek fun video in her local coffee shop, flipping through all 300 pages of her phone bill, and... Classes, less well educated, less well off people who used to vote for the left. <laughs> so, the father will be in a brilliant manner, in a brilliant institution, and a brilliant struggle. Well, so, so that was 17 years ago. Let's bring you right up to date. <laughs> program has traveled a long way very quickly as it races to catch up with other nations but as the rockets and what they carry get bigger so too the debris they leave behind More This is what they need. Who knows why? But this is what they need. And we don't need it. And we don't we want to, to live normally side by side with our neighbors, the Palestinians. We know more or less what are the parameters of the final agreement between us and them. And uh, I think that one can do that. I'm not sure that it will happen in, in the coming uh, years of the of the we will aim for that, but if we are an attack on the public and we would just a war criminal for some
here we are at the end finishing line of this knife and this has been a very exciting project very very exciting and i have learned a lot doing this knife and the reason for it is this part here i have wanted to make a sheath that uh, reflects the handle now it's very common to make knife handles birch stacked birch bark knife handles but it's i have never seen stacked birch bark knife sheath and the reason for it is that uh, birch bark is is very difficult to work with and why it works so well on handles is that the tang of the blade goes right through and then you pin it there so everything gets compressed and held in place but when you make a sheath it really doesn't work unless you also compress it like you do with the uh, with the handle and so I had to figure out a way to uh, make this happen how can I make a stacked birch bark handle and it has been tough it's been very tough so you have seen in the video that I put a spine right through the handle uh, the sheath and it goes right through and I pinned it and this spine runs on the uh, back along along the uh, the spine of, of the blade along the back but what happens with birch bark is that it is comprised of of stacks each each bark is actually layers and layers and layers like an onion which makes it very difficult to uh, uh to just glue because the glue will stick but each bark is several layers so it will still split if you don't hold it together like you do with a knife handle so that's why i put this uh spine inside the handle inside the sheath to hold com to compress everything hold it together but what i didn't count with was that the uh, the spine is kind of flexible so it's not rigid and when it flexes and you bend it it will crack up the uh, uh, individual birch layers here so there is a risk of cracking it up so that's why i put this extra enforcement so that's the reason for that and another reason for this is to uh, is the aesthetics of it i wanted it to reflect the point of this one and in a way also make allusion to uh, uh, to the rangy antler with its several spikes and so it's pinned together there it held, holds it in place plus that the leather neck comes and holds it there so it has nowhere to go and the whole thing is very rigid you cannot bend it so i have learned a lot with this uh making the making of this uh, knife it started with the experiment of twisting this antler piece here and then i wanted to have a handle that uh, reflects the sheath now this sheath has taken a long time to make and uh, it's already purchased all i need to do is to make a nice wooden box for it that i will deliver uh, the knife with and it's going to the states 
I don't know if my customer wants me to uh, uh, say his name, but uh, uh, he has been very, very patient with me. And uh, the reason why also it took so long was because of my wife and I, we just got a, a baby uh, this summer. And uh, so the baby has taken all our time and uh, things have uh, been put on hold and I've been working on this now and then. But now it's finally ready and I am excited to, con to uh, take on the next project. Let me know what you guys think of this. This is the most complex and unique knife I have ever made. It's the most difficult knife I have ever made. It all started with the, uh, with the handle, with the twisted antler in there. So I, I will put a link in the description uh, about this handle, the video. So now this knife is complete. Let me know what you guys think. I'm very happy with it. Very, very happy with it. Let's see if we get the click out of it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.